Welcome to this video. In our previous video, we have modeled heat transfer in a plate subjected to a fixed torch. In this video, we are going to model movement of torch on the top surface of this plate, as you can see in this video. The path of torch movement is a circle which its center is located at the center of the plate. To model this problem, we should use the flux subroutine. At first, we describe required changes in the CAE model. We use our previous CAE file and go to the load module. And for defining flux on the top surface, we change the distribution to the user defined. By this option, we should introduce a deflux subroutine to the model as you can see in this note. Then we have a magnitude here. This magnitude will be passed to the subroutine as the initial value of the flux. We can use this magnitude to change the initial flux from the GUI interface. The next required change is to introduce deflux to this model. We go to the job module and edit the job. In the general tab, we enter the address of the deflux subroutine. Now we submit the job and while the solution is completing, I explain the related subroutine. This is the related deflux. You can find these lines in the interface of deflux in help of the software. And after that, we have some lines to calculate flux 1 and flux 2. For calculating these two parameters, we have these lines as I am going to explain it. At first, we define torch specification. We enter the A value and also we use the magnitude that we have entered in the software GUI for the Q. By this way, we can change this parameter in the GUI for our simulations. After defining torch specification, we define the specification of torch pass. Here is the center of the circle that is torch pass and also radius of this circle. The center of the circle is located at the center of the plate. After that, we calculate the current position of the torch. The parameter T shows time for one revolution of torch and the parameter theta shows the angle that torch has swept until now and we can calculate position of the torch by parameter theta and radius of the circle of the pass and center of the circle of the pass. Having the current position of torch, we can calculate distance of a specific point with the center of torch. We use coordinates of points from course parameter and then calculate the distance between this coordinate and current position of torch. After that, using this formula, we can calculate the flux at this point. We calculate the flux and put it in flux 1. About flux 2, we should enter derivative of flux with relation to temperature of this point to this parameter. In this problem, the flux doesn't depend on the temperature of the point and this parameter is zero. Now we come back to the Abacus software and see the results. This is the heat flux and we can see that the flux is rotating on a circle and in the center of the torch, maximum of flux happens. In the time of our simulation, only one rotation happens. We can also plot temperature of nodes. In the center of the torch, the highest temperature happens and a similar distribution with the flux can be seen here. Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in next videos.